Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. Activision is worse than EA. There, I'm saying it, I'm setting it in stone. Activision is worse than EA. Yes. Yes, EA won the Golden Pooh Award. Yes, they won Worst Company in America two years in a row. Yes, but you know what? They're still a better video game publisher than Activision. And here on this video, I'm going to tell you why. But before we get to Activision, we need to address EA. Yes, I know, EA has a reputation. It's infamous for bad decisions, uh, poor, poor consumer company relationships, online DRM, DLC, rushing games out the door. We've heard it all before. It's become a meme. EA has become a meme as being the worst video game publisher in the world. But you know what? You're wrong. You're wrong. EA has made some mistakes. They've made a lot of mistakes, I'm not going to lie. EA has screwed up multiple times. Indeed, that is truth. But you know what? Props to EA. Props to them for trying to improve. When people yell and shout and say, no, this is wrong, you've made a mistake, EA has actually fucking listened. They've actually listened, and they've been trying to improve themselves. They've been working harder and harder to give the people what they want without pissing them off. You gotta remember, EA is a, is a company. It needs to make money to survive, and the economy is tough as shit right now. The economy is a bitch right now, and people need to find a way to make as much money as possible to be sustainable. Yes, there there is ways to be a company, make money, and still keep keep in bound with moral boundaries. And EA, EA crossed those boundaries. They did. They did. But you know what? They've learned. They've learned. They're rolling back on DRM. They're fixing and improving their games, online connectivity, bugs, glitches, anything. They're making sure their games are now in top quality shape. And they have drastically improved their online PC Steam counterpart origin. While they still haven't added being able to gift games to your friends, EA, seriously, what, what the fuck? Why can I not gift games to friends? I have the money, I'm willing to spend money on games to gift them to friends. Why can't you let me gift games to friends? That, that is something that needs to be fixed on Origin. But other than that, they've really improved Origin, the menus, the sales. Hell, they're doing something that Steam rarely does. Every few weeks or every month forever, I don't know the exact time basis they have this on, they're having this new on the house, this new on the house feature where they have one game that's completely free and you get to keep it forever. And they're doing this every once in a while on a certain basis, they're going to have one game free forever. Hell, the very first game they had on the house, free, that you could get for free, was the original Dead Space. And that game is still a, a bit pricey, depending on where you're looking for the game. They offered the game completely free on Origin, Dead Space. So props to EA, props. They're, they're, they've realized their mistakes, they have, and they're trying to reconcile. They're trying to do better. Props to them. Do they still screw up? Are they probably still going to screw up in the future? Yes, but at least they try. You at least see the effort in trying to create a better relationship with the consumer. Fucking Activision, on the other hand, does no such thing. They couldn't give less of a shit of the consumer. You know why? Because they're rolling in dough. They're top dog, so they don't give a shit. They make millions, if not billions, off of World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, and all of their movie tie-in games, since Activision seems to be the overlord of movie tie-in games. EA at least works for their money. Activision? They barely have to do Jack Squad, because they own three of the most popular franchises. World of Warcraft, the most popular MMO of all time. Call of Duty, the number one most bought, most played multiplayer first person shooter of all time. And they have a ton of Transformers, Spider-Mans, and other movie tie-in games. 
they barely have to do jack squat. Oh, but here's the thing. When they actually do jack squat, it's to squeeze every single penny out of your wallet. Let us look at World of Warcraft. Do I even have to explain myself? Monthly subscriptions, online markets, being able to buy boosters and armor packs and weapon packs and entire goddamn expansions. You can't even get into World of Warcraft, even the free-to-play version, you feel like, damn, I can't play this. I in order to play this properly or feel like I'm progressing, I need to pay money. I need to pay money. And how much satisfaction do you even get from goddamn World of Warcraft? It's basically a giant money vacuum. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, every single Call of Duty game after Modern Warfare 2, actually I think it started with Modern Warfare 2, has had preposterous, ridiculous amounts of DLC. Black Ops, even though Black Ops is my favorite Call of Duty and it's a great game, Black Ops, it has so many zombie horde mode expansion packs. Same thing with Black Ops 2, with Call of Duty Ghosts, with Ghosts? Oh my god, I would recommend watching an earlier video where I talk about how DLC is getting out of control, because Call of Duty Ghosts has an absolutely ridiculous, insane amount of DLC. The amount of camos and character skins. And just shit to nickel and dime you. Fucking voice packs! The damn thing has voice packs that cost money. But I think what we really need to talk about is the most recent example. Destiny. If you've been following Angry Joe or other YouTubers who have been recently posting more and more information on Destiny, you'll know that Activision plans to nickel and dime you for expansions for expansion passes, for DLC packs, and knowing Activision, there's probably going to be weapon and armor packs. EA, through all its mistakes, is trying to remedy them. They are trying to do better. Look what Activision does. It does nothing. It does nothing to improve its customer relationship it keeps doing the same thing over and over again. They are literally insane. They keep doing the same thing over and over again. And the even more insane thing to that is that it works. People keep playing World of Warcraft and spending ridiculous amounts of money. People keep buying Call of Duty and spending ridiculous amounts of money on the useless DLC. And unfortunately, it's going to happen with Destiny 2. It's going to happen because most of this stuff is probably going to be worthwhile content that should have been in the main game. But Activision. I mean, when's the last time you heard a response from Activision heads or Activision suits saying, we care about our customers. We want to do better. We want to make sure our customers get the best experience possible. When is the last time they ever said anything like that? Last I remember, EA has released several announcements like that, and after releasing those statements, they actually tried. Some success, some failure, but they tried. What does Activision do? Nothing. They do nothing. They do the same thing over and over again. They release ridiculous amounts of DLC. They nickel and dime and tax. This is almost like freaking taxation from the government that Activision is doing. They try and squeeze as much money out of your damn wallet as possible. And here's the thing. There's very little we can do. They, they're top dog. Activision is top dog right now. They are making the most money. They are in control of some of the most popular franchises of all time. The only, only way we can make a difference, the only way we can tell Activision to take EA's example, I can't believe I'm saying that, but Activision needs to take a page from EA and actually try to do better, to actually try and to improve their relationship with their customers, they, we need to stop buying their games. We need to stop buying DLC. Unfortunately, I myself cannot live up to that because, you know what, if Destiny comes to PC, I'm most likely going to buy it. it ha if it has some worthwhile DLC that interests me, I'm most likely going to buy it. 
We're stuck in a rut. We want Activision to get better. We want them to stop being money-grubbing bastards. We want them to do what EA is doing, see their mistakes, and try to remedy them. At least try. Activision isn't even trying. And the only reason, reason, way, the only reason and way we're going to make them try is if we stop buying their DLC, stop supporting their practices. But let's admit it, that's never going to happen. People are going to keep playing World of Warcraft because they're addicted. People are going to keep playing and buying Call of Duty because they're addicted. And movie tie-in games are going to keep getting bought because parents keep buying them for the kids. Damn it. This has been the Gamertron. If you guys agree with me and you want to help me out, please hit that like button on this video. Hitting the like button really helps. If you want, again, a conversation with me, leave me your opinion. Please leave them in the comments below. I love comments and I love reading comments. And if you're new here and stumbled across this video and you want to see more and support me directly, why not subscribe? This has been the Gamertron, this has been a video, and I'll see you guys later.